You've seen this tour before, but we're back to share our family home with an all new look. We finished our remodel in time to set out the Christmas decorations. I've invited Tyler over to uh, give us a rundown of the construction details incorporated throughout our remodel. I'm gonna defend the shutters to the very end because she said, someone said they're the wrong size. We designed this home about five or six years ago and we were on a really tight deadline because this was going to be the first reveal we filmed for Dream Home Makeover on Netflix. And we had made some budget decisions and we paired things back. We had a lot of good things to work with and I loved our home. But over time, I was able to really think about what I wanted to add to bring it to a more traditional place. You can see now behind me the big reveal it is still our home and it has a lot of the same essence that it did before, but it feels like it's been here for even longer. And that was actually the goal. I wanted our home to feel older, timeless. This renovation on the exterior and interior of our home was more about adding than subtracting. I needed to partner with the right architect to realize the level of detail that I envisioned. And Steve Teak of Teak Design Group was the right fit. He understands and lives for classic and historical details. I've known him for a long time and you know I had this list of like ideas and he took those ideas and ran with them and did a few different sketches of options for how we could um, add that character. And so I kind of took from here, gave some feedback, and mashed some ideas together and we opted on adding these swooped walls to the front, shutters, detailing in the gables, and then last but not least, pulling forward the porch and doing these double columns. Once the drawings were done, I had no hesitation. I was ready to have them rip the porch off the front of our house and I think I had more stress about you know, wallpaper and furniture selections than I did on the exterior. And now that everything has come together, I see why. Except for one thing. I love it. I'm undecided on the spheres. They coordinate with the shutters. I do really like it. I think I just, I think I just need, I think I just need to like, it's new, it's so new. They were put on this morning. I haven't seen it all together. The drawings, and I was the one that suggested this, had these beautiful limestone spheres. I had pulled images of that look and thought it would be a good addition, but they were installed yesterday and I could not stop looking at them. Everything else felt easy and was so beautiful and I loved it immediately. I couldn't figure out why, but in my gut, I just knew they weren't right. And I tried to mull it over, convince myself it was the right thing because they were on the plans. And at the end of the day, I knew every single time we made a change on our house, I was excited and I loved it. And with the spheres, it didn't feel that way. It kind of felt like putting on too much jewelry. It was like I needed to take one piece off to get the look just right. I wanted traditional, I wanted detailing, but I still love a classic paired back look. And so trying to meet all of those things, push myself forward with the detail, but then also stay true to me, taking them off. I texted our contractor last night and I was like, I can't do it. I can't do the spheres. I am so sorry that it took four guys to lift these things over to the brick wall and now I need you to remove them. And he was like, no problem, I'll be there tomorrow morning. So they cut them off this morning and then repainted over the top. I have them, I'm gonna save them and put them on like a gate post um, in a, another project that I have going. And now I look at our house, I have no hesitation, I love it. So I think the note there is sometimes our plans don't work out according to plan and you have to listen to your gut and just go with it. And it might feel like a mistake, but also it's just part of the process.
We had brick walls in front of our house before, but they were completely flat. So what we did was we kept half of the wall and then we just added the swoop and a little higher post here. I love the swoop detail for a few reasons. It gives our front porch a lot more stately presence, but also it ties to a detail you will see on the inside with this wall that we created to separate our living room from our staircase. Before the porch was copper, but it was suspended between the two sides of our home and it didn't have enough presence. So we decided to pull it forward and I, really loved the double column look and Steve was on the same page and he created this beautiful porch with molding details and these great columns. And I love how it gives the front of our home more presence, but also dimension. I have always loved gas lanterns and I just decided to go for it. I had my heart set on them from the beginning and it just adds so much warmth to our home. I love them. I'm so happy seeing them during the day, but at night, it's the prettiest glow. We kept all the windows the same except for one, and I had a window on this side of the house, and Steve put an oval window on the drawings, and it was just so cute, and just added softness and charm, as you've heard me say many times, and I love the way that combination turned out. We also added shutters to our house, to these upper windows. And I wanted to make sure that they were architecturally sound and that they could actually cover the windows. So they're big windows and we did a bifold shutter, which you can see, that's why we have the hinges here. And then I painted them a subtle tan color so that they weren't an exact match to the brick. And I like that that gives it just a little bit of dimension, but we still have kind of a soft look on the exterior. One thing we added that I think is small when I talk about it, but added a big impact on the front of the home is we added trim to the gable. So we did a stepped fascia with this molding detail. In order to do that, we actually had to pull the roof line forward a little bit and we pulled the shingles. So I'm waiting for those to patina and match as well. But you can see it creates like a really pretty shadow line and then the vent brick detail under those is also something that we added, which just meant cutting out some of the existing brick and then painting it white to match the rest of the house. Last but not least, our bluestone walkway. So I already had bluestone on our porch. When we were building our home, I couldn't afford to do the bluestone all the way to the sidewalk. So I came up with a creative solution with our concrete and did the grass strips, which I think is a great look and a great solution to make concrete more interesting. But I always had my heart set on doing the bluestone all the way to the street. So we carried it out and I love that it ties in with the porch and also just elevates the entire experience from the street all the way to our front door. Do you see this? I've been following the saga <laughs> of the groundskeeper. I'm gonna defend the shutters to the very end because she said someone said they're the wrong size. And I said, no, they are not, I'm, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> dive into that. But we did them right. But we did them right. Okay. <laughs> we finished our remodel in time to set out the Christmas decorations. Sid did a really nice job wrapping the garland, but the lights, he didn't put them up, they keep falling down, and then he puts them back up, and then we get more snow, it melts, and then it pushes the lights down. So the wreaths are hanging on. So it looks amazing though, I, I love, love it. I love the way our exterior turned out, and the interior too. I always um, wanted to be able to put more garland up on my house, and the columns, the double columns, gave me four places to put garland, which I'm excited about. So I've invited Tyler over to uh, give us a rundown of the construction details incorporated throughout our remodel. And it's freezing out here, so I'm gonna head inside and let Tyler give you the tour. Okay, sounds great. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Tyler. And action. <laughs> Bunch of really cool things that were small details, but I think made a big impact that Shay decided on. This roof was all scooted back, right? Came out to about right here, so we extended it about three feet. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it was a lot of work. 
So these guys here are structural. There's a couple ways to do this. These are, are painted and they're, they're steel, but another way to do it is you can get a, like a four by four post, whatever your engineer says, put that in first and then slide like a fiberglass um, column over it and you can get a real similar look. So this was, we didn't need four structurally, you know, the two, that was a design decision and I think they look great, but they are holding up the roof. One of the added elements are these gas lanterns. Now they're so cool. I was in New Orleans recently, saw where these were made, saw, saw their store that's, that's based out of there. And when you are doing your model and you're wanting to add gas fixtures, uh, really important to think about how difficult that is because these were electrical, we replaced them, but we have to run gas lines from here, which weren't here originally, all the way to our mechanical line. So there was some demo on the inside, some drywall patches. We kept it to a minimum, but there was still work on the inside that just had to happen to get the gas routed from our mechanical room to these lights. I think she would say it. She would tell you it's worth it because they're so gorgeous. So if, if maybe these are out of your budget initially, I think something that would be very smart and fairly affordable is to run some sort of sleeve or conduit for a future gas line to your mechanical room before you do all the drywall. That way, if you wanna add these later, it's way easier. One advantage of being the original contractor on this home a few years ago was I know exactly where we sourced everything. This bluestone front porch got extended. We extended the step, we extended it all the way to the road. Uh, a real challenge when you're doing a remodel is making sure the old matches the new. Where this isn't a hundred year old building, that's a lot easier, but it really did help that it was the same supplier that provided this stone and this stone. Shay's team does an amazing job at drawing things to scale and properly, but there is something about seeing it in 3D. There, for example, these light fixtures, I love to make a cardboard cutout the exact same size, hold it up on the wall for Shay. Also with this wall, um, we modified it. We made this taller, we added this swoop. Now you can draw those things. However, sometimes in, in real life, the radius isn't quite you know, how you want it to turn out. So we'd love to mock this stuff out, get the homeowner's approval before we finalize it. Another just really cool detail that was technically difficult were, I'm calling them swoops. So the, see these little brick swoops here? Everything was going straight up and it required a lot of demo with the brick and a lot of framing with the roof. And one thing you just really need to consider with these beautiful exterior models is the structural integrity of the home. It's not really as easy as just adding lipstick on top of it, right? And decorations. And these gables, um, they are a closed foam insulation, like ventless roof system. So what we had to do is we had to rip that framing apart, get it all protected, get insulators here to spray that foam, and then really concentrate on the flashing and the framing for these really just perfect seamless brick swoop details. It took a while to get there, but we got it right and it is not gonna leak. All right, I wanted to talk about these shutters because I'm incredibly proud of them and defensive about them. See how they have hardware and hinges on the side where they can fold out and cover the entire glass. We built these in-house um, at our cabinet shop and we were very, very clear, very precise with the dimensions and made sure they got approved by Shay because she's also a shutter snob and that is totally fine and totally okay. But I heard she got a little bit of grief online that they were the wrong size and they absolutely are not. They are perfect. perfect. <laughs> Shay and I have been talking about for about four or five years, the gutters and downspouts here. We ended up not doing it on the first round, the first round the, uh, during the new build. We ended up adding them back. So they're there. They're working on getting the patina just right. I mean, again, you're working with old materials and new materials, but the copper will, will tarnish and be a similar color probably in about six months. So another change we made here, and again, when you're changing things on the exterior, you gotta think of what the impact is on the inside. We did have a window here, but it wasn't this oval window, but it still meant we had to demo on the inside. So we had to reconfigure Shay's closet. Our cabinet shop did that. But on the outside here, 
the challenge was again was old versus new even though this is a four or five year old home getting the stone to match exactly but we got it right and i think it looks great another thing is this bavolo gas lantern we had to get a gas line there there was no light there previously so again it's the planning on the inside how much are you willing to demo on the inside to make your exterior look great another thing if you're thinking about an exterior refresh is throwing a window any window in a wall you have to check the structural integrity of the home you got to make sure that there's the right um, header size above the window because for every exterior wall is a structural wall right so we did have a permanent and inspections on this but you got to check with your engineer to make sure you're framing it properly that wraps up the exterior, but this is just the beginning. We have a lot more to show you. We have the main living spaces where we changed some of the architectural details and the furniture. And then in the bedrooms, we did a complete refresh using decor and new pieces.